Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to a Morning Versus with Mike. It's Friday morning. I hope your day is starting off absolutely fantastic. Thanks for getting up early and joining me. As a couple quick reminders, I do this every weekday morning, 6.15 a.m. and I would love for you to hop in here and join me. The Morning Verses that we talk about, I share one verse, try and keep it to one thought and we chat for about three to five minutes. So this morning, and if it goes longer, it's okay. It's my show, so that works. If it goes shorter, it's okay too, but i have been able to talk a lot enough that that usually doesn't happen. It generally doesn't go much shorter. So this morning, we are going to be sharing from Ruth chapter 1, verse 16. So Ruth chapter 1, verse 16. Good morning for the people that are joining me live, and if you're watching this later, Thank you so much. It could be good afternoon or good evening or, hey, what's going on in the middle of the night? But for right now, it's good morning. So Ruth chapter 1 verse 16 says, But Ruth replied, Don't ask me to leave you and turn back. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. Now, the reason I, where this is hitting me right now and why it's hitting me, why it's impacting me right now is because the whole book of Ruth, if you've read, I I actually reread it last night and the whole book of Ruth shows the impact of loyalty and kindness and love and that impact can have on us personally, plus the impact that it has on the people that are around us that we surround ourselves with. Now, Ruth's words here in this verse, they're determined and loyal and faithful, and she's very direct. If she, and just to put it into context, Ruth here was speaking to her mother-in-law, Naomi. And so she's, you know, I would encourage you go read the the entire book. It's, I mean, it's really a strong it, it's a it's a book of a very strong and powerful woman. Bambi says that in the in the side here. She says she's such a powerful, obedient woman, and and she was. And it, especially in the Bible, where it does have books that are are a lot of them rooted in heavily in men. You know, this is one that that is is kind of outside of that norm, and it talks about, or I shouldn't say the norm, but that's outside of so many of the 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 men rooted books in the, in the Bible, if you will, that are, you know, written by men and, and so forth. So uh, anyway, back back to what I, I'm so easy to get off track. So anyway, she, as she's saying this, she she is, she's, she's loving and loyal, determined, very direct with Naomi. And there is a loving commitment and a strong devotion to, you know, staying with Naomi and staying by her side. And it does seal that promise. It, it, it seals her promise and binds her with Naomi, but also it binds her with God. It binds her with the Lord. And it's one of those. So as, as I'm, I'm reading through this in this one particular verse, it just reminds me that that real and true friendship, that family, that loyalty and that gratitude are such a huge blessing. And Bambi says here in in the the side, she says, talking to her mother-in-law after her husband died. That that's one and and yeah, it is. It's after her husband has passed and they're they're traveling, and she stays with her no matter what the cost. That is some really strong devotion and loyalty. She says, No, I'm I'm with you. It doesn't matter. Wherever you go, I'm in. Wherever you live, I'm in. Your God is my God. It, it is that that loyalty, that devotion, that gratitude. And it when you have something deep like that, it is such a strong, uh, it's just such a strong message of love. So that's the whole message for this morning. Thank you so much for getting up and joining me for a Morning Verses with Mike. Again, I'm doing it every, every uh, weekday morning, 6.15 a.m. Please do me a favor. Give the video a thumbs up. Share this video. Spread the word. Let's spread the faith. Spread the positivity. 
share a morning conversation with your friends, family, and your social connections. It would be awesome. And uh, thank you for getting up and joining me this morning. I appreciate it. Until I see you next, which will be Monday morning, 6.15 a.m., I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. We'll talk to you soon, everybody.